Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Beer Green Steel. So, <clears throat> I got a package in the mail that I've been waiting on for a while. It is a corn sheller from, I have no idea what country this is from. Japan, India, or something. So I got it off Amazon, it's another Amazon deal. And uh, what I've been doing is any of the corn that we picked with the ear corn picker that got too damaged to use to sell for squirrel feed, I've been shelling and using it for uh, bird feed and other just cracked corn and stuff. So my other sheller, I was gonna put an electric motor on it, but by the time I priced an electric motor and stuff, it's like, well, I could just buy one of these. So I think this was uh, 200 and 70 bucks for this, it wasn't too bad. So I figured we'd unbox it and show you what we got. Kind of, a, kind of an interesting deal. Never it's seen one of these before in person. Said it's that foreign green. Foreign green? It's almost like it's spider green. Yeah. Real thin. I mean, I guess you don't get much for that kind of price. So here's the actual sheller itself. I'm interested to see how they're how they're doing their shelling. I don't know what they got going on inside of it. Huh? I'm surprised they let you keep that in the shop. Why? For a piece of crap. For a piece of crap. So, it's kind of a rotary machine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a 4 and 1660 in there. That's kind of interesting the way it's made. It's just a round, pellet, so. it's just a round pipe with some round bar welded to it. This is going to be interesting. I don't know. Yeah, that's it's, like a thing. Thing. it's even got whatever the name of it is stamped here. It's like... I'm pretty sure those are just... Does that say axial flow in Japan? Probably. Yeah, or Japanese, or Chinese. There's a star on the bottom. It's kind of interesting. So, what else we got in here? We got the, the belt cover that they were very proud of in the description. They said it keeps your fingers out of the belt. You know somebody tested that. Yeah, I'm sure somebody tested that. The little Chinese boy was like, Ow! Now let's not make fun of them. Hey, we get a belt. And a flap. And the, the little finger flap that's supposed to keep the corn from flying back out of it. Got a bag of fasteners and bolts. And we got the legs for it. I will say they did a nice job painting it. They got plenty of paint on it. Just a bunch of angle iron with some well or uh, some bins and some slotted holes. I guess they figured if they slot the holes, they don't have to be perfect on their measurements. I don't know if those are purposely bent or they got bent. I don't know. We'll find out though. So we got all that. Let's see what the box. Is. Oh, that's an interesting box. Look at that. Very colorful advertisement. That would be eye-catching. I bet they sell these at like the Harbor Freight and their... Uh, I like how it's not the same color machine. Village. Yeah, the, the machine's <laughs> not even the same color as what it was in the box. Interesting. <clears throat> so we're going to try to run a couple hundred acres of corn through this and see how it lasts. No, not really. I bet we got us an electric motor here. Is that even one ten? Huh? Is that even one ten? I hope so. <laughs> Probably got one of them goofy little plugs on it. It's the ones that are like three prongs, but they're all different angles. Yeah, they got enough bubble wrap on it. That's the power plant. Look at that. All aluminum. Keep the heat away. Plastic junction box. Trying to put it in plastic. But, uh, 
Yes, it's got the right plug-in on it, Dad. Three. Uh, where's the on-off switch? You don't have one. Oh, you gotta plug it in and turn it on and off? That's stupid. We'll have to put a switch on it eventually. So, what's interesting is electric motor just come in its own box. It wasn't even, wasn't even part of the sheller. So, I'm gonna get all this figured out. <laughs> I just noticed something too. There's not a bit of instructions on how to put it together. There's pictures though. Well, yeah, there's pictures, but no instructions at all on how to put this together. So this is going to be fun. So uh, we're going to get started putting it together and go get a few ears of corn out of the wagon and try it out. Okay, so we got this beautiful piece of equipment all put together. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> There was no instructions on how to put any of it together. It's just nuts and bolts, no lock washers or flat washers. You got to guess where everything goes. The holes are all slotted, so nothing has to really line up. This is going to be interesting to see if this thing even shells corn. So uh, we did plug it in, it runs. We're going to go out to the wagon and get a couple ears of corn and see what happens. Well, we got us a bucket of corn and we have not tried it yet. So we're going to show you exactly what's going to happen. We're a little bit nervous. Some adjustments and try again well after further investigation we realized that the direction on the motor is not the direction that it needs to be turning to run the sheller so uh, we're gonna pull that motor back off we're gonna switch the directions in the junction box on the motor and put it back on and try again with it turning in the right direction so this is getting interesting says you're supposed to be able to get it out of the box, assemble it, and it's supposed to run flawlessly and shell corn. So we're going to pull that motor all back off because you really can't get in here to do anything. So I'm going to get it off, get it on a bench, and we'll see if we can figure out how to change directions and get it running the other way. So we took the cover off, and there is no information on changing the direction. So dad actually traced the wires and figured out that we just had to change this black wire and this black wire. We swapped them under this wire nut. So now we've got it turned in the right direction. Good thing he was here. We wouldn't have a clue what was going on. So uh, we got that shit figured out. So now we're going to get this all put back together. And uh, we, we actually think that maybe China, the way their electric motors work, they just run different to begin with than ours. So uh, we're going to get this screwed back together and we'll get it back over there and put it on the sheller and see what we got. So we got it all put back together. We got our uh, Chinese 2388 figured out. So we're going to plug her back in and see what happens this time.
this shoots fucking ears out the ass. <laughs> It works pretty good when you change your, the direction. Uh, we're definitely going to have to figure some stuff out, like a mud flap over the end and uh, <laughs> maybe some other stuff. But now it works fairly good, so we're going to keep playing with it. So, Dad strengths in the process of uh, making a it a little... Scatter shield on it. Scatter shield on it to make her a little better. <laughs> Okay, let's try that. See what happens this time. <coughs> Safety glass is on. I'll wait till you get your fingers out of the way. Okay, fingers out of the way. sweep up the half a bushel of corn on the floor. It works, but it's going to need some tweaking. A lot of tweaking. So anyways, there's the cheapest corn sheller available <laughs> in the world, obviously. So if you like this episode of Dirt Gains, do give us a like and subscribe. And uh, maybe we should find us something else to try from overseas and see what else we can get. So we're going to try to make this better, though. So, yeah, we gotta sweep the floor. So, anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.